Welcome to the Cardano 360 Mini for May. This month's episode was full of lots of topics, so let's not waste any time and get right into it. First off, leading the show, the talk was all about Alonzo, or to be more specific, the Alonzo roadmap. We learned the upcoming launch would have three main stages over a 30, 60, and 90 day period before tidying things up, and this all starts with Alonzo Blue. The Blue stage is where a small group of SPOs and Plutus pioneers, along with some hired professionals, start to boot things up and begin work on things with a high likelihood of use cases, such as oracles, DEX, borrowing and lending, crypto backed stablecoins, NFTs, and DeFi tools. Once the engine is on, then we transition into Alonzo White, which expands to include even more Plutus pioneers and stakepool operators, and the people involved can start executing scripts and demoing dApps. And following that, we switch to the third main stage before the mainnet, which is Alonzo Purple. And this is where the testnet becomes public and all 1500 pioneers, as well as partners, can start working on projects. This is also where we'll see integration with Daedalus Flight and the big exchanges before tidying up everything for the mainnet launch. Now, like any major software rollout, dates are always indicative, but this is the clearest view yet of how Alonzo and smart contracts will come to Cardano. From there, we had the chance to meet some of the pioneers from the Plutus Pioneer program that started last month and hear what they have to say about the course. We also found out there are plans to run this course at some point during the summer, and eventually the Plutus Pioneers course will be turned into a regular running course that you can sign up for anytime. But for right now, if you're interested, all the lectures are uploaded to the IOHK YouTube channel and made public for everyone. Next, we heard more about Marlo, including a video I did breaking down what exactly Marlo is. And we even saw a demo of how the user interface for consumers would look when using Marlo smart contracts. In addition to this, we also heard the announcement of the Marlow webinar series to explain Marlow in more depth, and that's launching in June. We also heard from Dor, who gave us an update on Project Catalyst. A few of the most notable updates are the added support for the Euroi mobile app, and we should expect to see Ledger hardware wallets available to use for Fund5 voting. Inclusivity is a priority, and as of right now, voting only costs the price of one transaction fee, and you only need a balance of 500 ADA to be eligible to vote. If you want to know more, the best place to get the most up-to-date information is the Telegram channel Cardano Catalyst Announcements for all the important information. From here, we got into talks about the ERC-20 converter and took a look at what will be the first ERC-20 conversion with SingularityNet's AGI token. The AGI token will be known as AGIX on Cardano with the hopes that eventually that will be the single ticker used across all other blockchains this is working on. So how will the ERC-20 converter work? The first thing they had to figure out was how can you move your AGI on Ethereum to Cardano and back? And in order to do this, you will be able to lock your tokens on Ethereum and mint new ones on Cardano so that you have a one-to-one -one ratio holding. And users will be able to burn their tokens on Cardano to get back their tokens on Ethereum. Okay, and when is this available? The bridge from Ethereum to Cardano will be live on the testnet in June. And the bridge back to Ethereum will have to wait a bit longer as it's tied into the Alonzo hard fork. And at some point after that event, the ability to swap back to Ethereum will be made available. What about fees? Are there any costs associated with swapping coins? Singularity DAO will be covering the transaction costs associated with receiving the Cardano version, but it will be up to the bag holder to cover the Ethereum fees of locking and withdrawing on Ethereum. We also got the chance to see a demo of the conversion in action, using the Daedalus testnet version and MetaMask to convert the tokens. Next, we briefly heard from the guys at Wolfram Alpha about an upcoming NFT project, and then we got into the discussion about Hydra, Cardano's scaling solution. Now, Hydra is still in the early stages, but there were some things that we found out, which is that Hydra will be made up of a family of protocols. One will be the head, the other will be the tail, and the third will be a intranetwork where the head and tail communicate. And there was the announcement of the early Hydra experiments now on the public open source GitHub repo. And last but not least was the official announcement of the Cardano Summit, which will be happening in September. And this will be a mix of digital and real life events, which I know is very exciting and we'll be hearing more about it next month. And that's it for this Cardano 360 Mini. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video.